Fiscal prudence and a strong social compact have come to the fore as more than half a dozen MPs spoke about strengthening Singapore's resilience. Now, they've built on the key messages in Finance Minister Lawrence Wong's budget speech in which he underscored the importance of building a resilient nation. Lauren Ong with this report. This was a $1.7 billion push that has paid off. A liquefied natural gas terminal built more than a decade ago has contributed to the country's energy security and helped it weather the global energy crisis. Member of Parliament Liang Enghua cited this as an example of Singapore's foresight and the need to keep building resilience. There are many more strategic projects needed to be built to strengthen resilience, to reduce our vulnerabilities, uh, infrastructure such as climate adaptations, energy diversifications, food security and so on. Our best defence against any future external shock, whether it's a black swan event or any catastrophic incidents, is responsible and prudent fiscal management today. He was responding to Finance Minister Lawrence Wong's budget speech that touched on the importance of building a resilient nation. MPs broadly supported the budget. Some called it a generous one that targets immediate needs. MP Tin Pei Ling held the support of upholding fiscal prudence and principles to protect the country's reserves. I hope that we do not lose that discipline as years pass. We may find it even more difficult to do so in future. Should a major crisis hit again and sooner than expected, will we have the same financial muscle and confidence as we did during the COVID-19 pandemic? But non-constituency MP Leong Man Wai says more can be done with Singapore's past reserves and that more long-term solutions are needed to help Singaporeans beyond short-term handouts like CDC vouchers and the assurance payout. The dozens of short-term handouts are more likely to breed dependency, but unlikely to strengthen resilience. We have said many times in this parliament that we need long-term programs to give Singaporeans comfort over their current and future financial positions before they can concentrate on becoming innovative workers and enterprising risk takers to build Singapore into a competitive information economy. Mr Long also presented an alternative budget that he says can ensure better financial security and affordable housing. Because we